Hi, let's take a look at the playback and editing workflows of New Window Live 2. We can zoom horizontally by using the mouse and a cursor. So if I position the mouse directly on top of the cursor at the ruler position, I can just drag the mouse up and down and zoom horizontally this way. I can also zoom all the recorded WAV file by using the little dot here on the upper right corner. Now in the bottom here, as you can see, I have a plus minus, so I can zoom vertically, just like that, horizontally by using the plus minus or dragging the little dot here. I can also use command arrow up and down to zoom vertically or control up and down if you have a Windows machine. I can also use the G and H keys to zoom horizontally. Now I can navigate a project using the markers to different sections. I can also use the locator to play different section within the project. So I can just highlight a section, start playing, and maybe range a different section somewhere else that I want to monitor and move the cursor to that position. In cycle range, it will play back, and so on. I can also use the record panel, move to different locator if I want to add more markers for different sections that I want to review later on and name them. Now I have two tools I can use for editing. I can use the object tool or range tools. And I have two different modes. I have a regular editing mode, which allows me to select different events. I can also press an old shift and, and select multiple events. And I can use the little uh, square in the bottom left and right corner here of each event to, for example, trim the head or the tail of the selected event. And if I engage the global editing mode, then all the events within the project get selected. Now, this is very useful if you're missing the beginning of a song, for example, if you start the recording a little too late. So just select the first event of that section at the marker position, and you can simply drag the little square in the bottom left corner from the right to the left to recover the beginning of the song. Now, on the middle of a playback, for example, I might be playing back here. As you can see, I'm following the cursor as we go and I'm hearing a pops or click somewhere, I can just simply disengage the auto scroll functions on the upper left corner here and just, for example, range that section. Now I'm on global mode, so I'm going to disengage that and just say, here, I don't want this, cut that, and re-engage the scroller back to my cursor. And I can keep listening to playback and here I listen something that I don't want I can just again range it. Now if it's applying to the entire project, for example, I can just engage the group editing and delete the section. Now let's quickly review what we looked at in this video. We looked at the different zooming options, which allows you to use uh, different key commands to zoom horizontally or vertically. We also look at the marker navigations, which allows you to navigate to different sections of the project. You can also use the Shift plus N or Shift plus B key to navigate up and down the project. We looked at the loop playback functions, which allows you to define and loop playback a section of your project. We also looked at how to activate and deactivate the auto scroll functions when you're doing editing. We look at the object tool, which allowed you to split a cursor position, for example, or trim the head or tail of different events using the little icon you have in the bottom left and right corner of each event. We also look at how to recover some pre-recorded buffer using the global editing function, as well as the range tool function to cut, delete, copy, paste, duplicate, different selected range.